Hello and welcome to Journey Beyond. Today I will be previewing my latest Crafter Companions haul. I ordered this on May 24th, so I have quite a few items here I'd like to share with you guys. And first I'm going to start off with their infamous magazines. So in one of my previous videos I think I shared um, the Crafter's Inspiration. So this time I got their So Inspired. So for all you quilters and people who like to sew or if you're um, if you just want to learn how to sew, if you're a beginner, this is a great magazine. So, not only do you get the magazine, it gives you a couple of extra goodies. And usually it's going to tell you um, on the front. Hang on, let me just adjust my lighting. There we go. I got new lighting, guys. Yay! Um, so it's going to show you on the front, like, what you got that's included in here. So it just gives you, like, some fabric and some stencils and some patterns. So I'm just going to show you what comes in this one. So this is issue 15. And in this one you get the Tokyo Blue Single Fat Quarter. And I really like this pattern. I actually ordered it separately, actually, before I got this one. And you get... Um, this is a pattern for backpacks and bags. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So those of you... If you're new to sewing, if you've never sewn, if you're interested in learning, if you get a pattern, so what the pattern basically is, is you lay it out, you're going to lay it out on top of your fabric. And so it basically is kind of like a stencil on paper. It shows you exactly how much you're going to cut and what the size of the fabric you're going to need. So for this particular pattern, um, you're going to have, there's four different designs you can make. Um, I would probably make A or B. They're almost, they're exactly the same, almost the same pattern. Um, that's more of like, you know, if you're going to go to the office, you can put your, maybe a tablet or a laptop in there if it's big enough. Um, and this is just like, your, you know, your backpack. And then it has the instruction guide and it tells you exactly how to piece, piece all the pieces together and what to sew and your seam allowance and all that good stuff. And then also they give you a cute little stencil, like the stencil on this particular um, magazine cover. It is so adorable. You see it's like a little blue elephant. So just a word of caution, it is a template, you guys. It's not the elephant. You don't get the fabric or anything that goes in it. It's just the template to make the elephant. And oh, I was like, what did I do with that? Okay. So this is the template. That's really cute. So basically the same thing, you just lay this over your fabric and then you cut the pieces to size and then it has step-by-step -step instructions in the booklet on how to make the elephant. It's in here somewhere. But it's like, like that is really super cute. I want to make that too. Little um, crafty bag you can put your stuff in. But here's another part where they have the featured um, fat quarter that they included. But here's like their, here I'm going to get close so you guys can see. So right, oh, here we go. Right here, this is called their Tokyo Blue selection. And I really like this. This is what I ordered. So I'm looking forward to getting that. It has like um, a few parasols on it and just cute little Asian fabrics. I really like that. But there's lots of ideas in here. Here again is a crafty bag. I really want to try to make that. And this is really cute. This is a little fish um, I guess it could be like a pencil case. I think that's what they have that in here. To hold it with, maybe if you have children, that'd be really fun to make with them. And here's like, um, sometimes they'll have like projects in here and then they'll have the templates inside the magazines that you can cut out and use. So very cute ideas. There's lots of projects in here that you guys can try, you can attempt. Um, especially if you're new to sewing, I think it's something that would be great because of, they have step-by-step -step instructions um, and it will also tell you like how long the project will take, the materials you're going to need, and then it tells you like um, like what level you're at. So if you're like a beginner, I'll have like a little diamond shape. it would be like one, so that would be like a beginner's level, and then two, three, and so on. The next item I have is another magazine. It's the um, So Inspired, I think this is like the Christmas edition. So just so you know, guys, with their magazines, um, they do come in a box like this because they have like little goodies they include and they have issue numbers. They do not have years on them. So I think they're up to like 26 or 27. So um, this is issue 14 and it says bag maker of the year 2018. <laughs> so this is probably about a year, year and a half old. 
But this one, again, you get the magazine and then you get a few extra goodies with it. So I absolutely adore this fabric. This fabric is beautiful. This is their Winter Wonderland Dash Single Fat Quarter. I recently just went on their website and tried to see if they sell this and I did not find any. I was so sad. I really like this fabric. It's very pretty. Um, this is a bunch of patterns for ornaments and accessories. So you can make a wreath, you can make some fabric ornaments, stocking. And I really think this is a cute idea because it's different from like, you know, the traditional like glass balls or like ceramic um, Christmas ornaments that we buy every year or have or we've had in the family for a long time. So this is something really new that maybe you want to try, you could do. I think I'm going to try to make some for this year. And this is a, a gingerbread man stencil and just a few other designs you can make and I think they fall under these, like the little ornaments. So, and let's see. So we have a bunch of different ideas you can do again takes you step by step this is a christmas cushion teaches you how to make that and then they also feature um they'll have like a fabric collection that you can like enter or you can actually purchase but i think this is for the uk people only i don't think that would apply to us <laughs> in america so i was really bummed i was really looking forward to the craft day yesterday on hsn because i know sarah had released a hsn preview of everything that was she, that was going to be previewed on the actual show and she released that like a couple of days before the show and I was going through the booklet and I know they had a um, a picture or like of the magazine and like what they're gonna release so it was supposed to be like a auto ship subscription but I didn't see that um, if you guys saw that let me know I saw the single magazine that they were selling they were selling two they were selling like volume 26 and then a different magazine, like an autumn one that came with a bunch of stuff like DVDs and stuff. But I did not see anywhere that it said auto ship or um, new subscription. And then when I went back and I watched the preview, them actually showcasing the magazine, um, I remember the host saying something like that that wouldn't be up again until August. So if that's the case, that's great because then I would love to sign up for that to get that. But I was very disappointed. I was looking forward to that and I did not see it. I saw the single purchase only. So you guys, if it was, if you did hear them say it or if I just missed it, let me know. Because I'm, I'm almost completely sure that I missed out on that offer. But hoping I didn't, hope that it, it is what she said. I hope it does come around in August because I will be signing up for that. I really do like their magazines. Okay, next I have, let's see, let's start with, I'm going to start with this collection. So I saw Sarah preview this a couple weeks ago, and when I first saw it, I was like, no, I don't need that, because I do have a Cricut, and I have a Brother Scan and Cut, and I can just make these, <laughs> so I was like, mm, I don't really need them. But after I saw Sarah demo them, of course, we need everything Sarah demos, right? <laughs> So these are their alphabet letters and they have the cute little like, you know, floral background around them. And I know they have some um, photopolymer stamps right now that are actually words. I think there's like a set of six. It says like, sorry, mom, sister, something else, thanks, friend, something like that. But I saw the individual ones and I was like, oh, wow, those are really cute. And then again, like, did I need them? No, <laughs> I bought them because I thought, oh, I can do so many cute things with that. And after I saw Sarah demo them, I was like sold. So it comes with a complete set from A to Z. It also does come with your little and ampersand sign. It comes with your hashtag for all you social media, Twitter people, and just hashtag Instagram, all that stuff. You could use this. It'd be cute to put in a card. And then it came with these. So I think these are like your, if I remember correctly, I don't remember a show they were on, but her co-host, Joe was saying this was like for um, uh, I think the German language so you see how they have the look the little accent marks and then I, I don't even know what this is so <laughs> I think he said German but they may be but um, I'll probably never use those but um, they are cute I love the way she demoed them and you know if you guys are gonna put someone's name on a card maybe you just want to do the first letter in the fancy font or you could do the whole thing or make your own word or 
whatever it is you guys want to do. I just thought they were cute. I think they were on sale for like $21 at that time, and that was with my discount too. Okay, next I have the wrap dies. So this was supposed to be the Christmas collection, the wrap dies. And so when I got my shipment, um, they were all there, except I had a little note saying that they had run out of two of them and they had to replace them with different ones, which I found a little odd because when I ordered them, they were in stock. So <laughs> I guess maybe they went back, looked at their inventory and they didn't have enough. I don't know. But so this is their Christmas collection. I'm going to put those two aside for a second. Um, so you get the Christmas wreath. So these are for your gatefold cards. These are your gatefold cards. Um, this is this could be used for like Easter if you want to send like a religious card. It's like a, a ornament cross. This one is your wedding chimes. So maybe like an engagement wedding bells. Um, you could even use it like for maybe a baby card. They're really cute. This is your sweet treat. This is your cupcake card. And she has a lot of cute cupcakes. I have like the shaker cupcake, a uh, stamp and die set. I have like the, a bunch of cupcake stamps. So I, that's definitely butterflies, cupcakes, and um, those two definitely, they have a lot of stamps and stuff of the dies of those. Um, this one is Forest Friends. It's like a little deer with the forest. I thought that was adorable. Look at the little picture example they give you. How cute. And last, this is the Snow Family. <coughs> Excuse me. Snow Family. So you have a cute little snowman and his family. That's adorable with the little pine trees behind. And every time I see like the examples, that's what sells me <laughs> on these. Every time. So the, the next two, I was supposed to get a bow and I think um, some swans or something, but they didn't have those. So instead they gave me Shoot for the Stars, which is very cute. That could easily replace the swans. I'm very happy with that. But I really did want the festive bow, but that's okay. And this one is Daisy Delight. So though again, these are for your gate folds or, you know, if you could, if you wanted to um, die cut these, you can actually use them even for like little um, napkin rings. That would be really cute. That would be a cute idea. If you want to do that for like a party or a little get together, or a little cocktail party at your house or something like that. Next, I have um, the Chloe collection. So I have a few things of Chloe that I would like to show you. So this one, I'll show you these first. So I got the um, cut and emboss uh, with Chloe. So Chloe does have her own line. It's I think it's called Stamps by Chloe. And they do sell it on Crest. Craft Stash UK and they do I think she has her own website so if you just like Google it if you do like her like her stamps and her dies and her embossing folder she does have her own line and I know that Crafters Companion does sell her stuff but if you're looking for more things that she does um, I actually went onto her website a couple days ago a couple days ago it's really cute so she has her own magazines and she has her own um, subscription boxes and things like that very cute um, <clears throat> she's very very pretty girl I like her little like high heel and dress like stamp she has. Very cute. But this one is the Pretty Poinsettias. So you get your cut and boss folder and then you also get these little uh, little additional um, dies that you can cut out like if you want to you know add them as embellishments onto your card or your project. This one is your Build a Wreath and I really like this one. I think this is what made me get the set. So this is your cut and emboss folder. Cuts out the little wreath and then you have these cute little these little um, dies. So you have a gingerbread man and a um, holly and a pine cone. I just thought that was so cute. Little stars and then you can just decorate the wreath. It's adorable. So this kind of gives you an example of what it could look like right there. And then last you have the snowflake, the sparkling snowflake. So you have one big snowflake and then you have like little extra snowflakes here that you can use so they, or you can um, let me get close because my light is going to reflect. Okay, so I have two different lights on. You guys can see that. But this is way better than the orange, right? Because I think the other one like is cast like an orange soft glow. So this is a lot clearer, but <laughs> I'm still going to get a reflection off of it. Sorry, guys. So, 
and that is the cut and emboss set and I also got this stamp so um, they were separate I think the stamp set right here was like 10 bucks with my discount so this one is called fashion sentiments so more fabulous than ever you don't look a day over fabulous have a lovely day um, have a wonderful day on your special day some girls just sparkle very cute and this is um, so these two are stamps as well now when I first looked at these I thought they were embossing folders but hey that's okay so um, this is hearts one and hearts two so the hearts two the the hearts are a little bit more separated hearts one you have just a ton more hearts and you can do them in different colors I thought that would be cute and then you can kind of overlap them you can make a background with them great background stamp for that next up I have the Gemini um, shaker card set so this came in a set of two and this was with my discount I think it was like 14 bucks now I was very happy when I saw them I got them and then I got them and I opened the package and then I realized oh my gosh I already ordered these <laughs> so be very weary of your stash you guys like what you have um, sometimes like we order stuff and then we forget like oh my gosh I already ordered that so um, I ordered I think it was I don't know if it was before this order or after they had like a set of five so and not realizing it until I opened it it already had these two I know it has this one for sure but I think it has that one too so these will be going on eBay but um, I will put a link down to my blog site I am going to put my uh, store on there so if you I might put them on there too so if you guys are interested I might have a few things on there um, if not I will put a link to my um, eBay um, seller site if you guys want to see that and then if you want these then you can buy them from there um, so this is your cocktail let's make cocktails uh, shaker card kit and I love the way Sarah and Leanne on their shows demo this it is like so adorable you guys see that picture so cute and I've seen them make it different ways too and it just looks so great and then this one they always make just looks so beautiful and they use their Centura pearl and their foil cards and it just looks fantastic so I have another one of these I got I think in a mystery bag or something and then I have another one coming in the set of five I just ordered not realizing that I already had one and then I just got another one and I'll be getting another one so just be just be careful when you guys order that okay then I have let's see girls oh I have oh I actually do have a mystery bag but I'm gonna show you one more item before we get to that I'll leave that for last so this is my threaders bundle kit and I was so excited to get this because this will be the first purse I'm going to make. Um, I really wanted to just try one of their kits to see if it was something that I would like. It is a small purse, it's a little boutique purse, but it's very cute. So I thought, eh, why not? And I think I got this for like 14 bucks. Um, so it came with two, two kits. One is a, um, I think it was two. Yeah. So this one, it is just a boutique purse, and this one is a wrist clutchlet. So I'm going to show you what's inside. So it includes a fabric panel, the magnetic clasp, the one button, the wadding. So wadding is just like batting, so it's kind of like you're filling, and then the instructions. So as you can see, this right here is your, so this would be your wadding or your batting. This is the filling. This is the lining that goes inside your purse. And then you have a little cute button, the metal clasp, and then here is the fabric to actually make your purse and it's a little instructions very cute so they do have a lot of these tutorials on YouTube you guys and on their website as well so if you're a beginner this is like a great I think this would be like a great kit for you to get um, so you can kinda like take your time um, and then if you need to watch the videos for me like I can read instructions and that's great but for me watching a video really helps me to understand like what I'm doing and then you can rewind it and then look at it again and again and again if you need to and this one is a wristlet clutch um, this one is the fabric panel and the zip and the instruction this one looks relatively easy little zipper the little fabric panel and the instructions 
Now, someone had asked me, I was in a discussion with somebody, and they had asked if you can actually sew this by hand. Um, you could, but it would just take a little bit longer, and it's a lot more work. So probably be a lot better to do with a sewing machine. Could you do it by hand? Possibly. It would just take a long time, and your stitches would have to be, I would think, very, very small. So, but... <laughs> You know, whatever works for you, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I think that's a great beginner's kit. All right, you guys, here comes the mystery bag. So I ordered the Soft Crafts mystery bag. And so the first thing it came with is this is Ollie the Owl. So this is like their crochet kits. Um, I learned how to crochet when I was like eight, but I haven't done it in forever. So if you have like, you know, little children or like a niece or a nephew or one of your friends, um, children, or I guess maybe even a dog toy, but I don't know. My dog, we have two dogs. We have a French Mastiff and we have a Australian Kelpie. And so our Kelpie, she's only a year old. So she still has like, you know, puppy instincts. And the first couple like toys we got her, she just literally like rips the stuffing out of them. So we don't give her these type of toys anymore, but it could be, like if you have a small dog, it could be like a cute chew toy. And then the next one I got is Dexter the dog. Very cute. So these are really popular. I noticed she had them on a few shows, uh, previous shows, and they are sold out. So those are two of the crochet kits you get. And then you get some, what did I get? Let's see, stencils. So these stencils are used... Um, you can make pillows with these, you can use them on tote bags, things like that. So they're big stencils, and this one came with um, four stencils. So this is the mandala set. So this is the first set you get with these decorations on it right here. And it kind of shows you like other sets they sell, but, and this is the set two. So as you can see, like in this picture, I'm going to kind of bring it up there. Um, in this picture, you can see like she used gold glitter paste, which is really pretty. And then in the second set right here, this is for your like your monograms. So this is like <clears throat> like what you would put behind your monogram. So you have you know the cute little wreath, and then you have this design right there, this little frame. These are two designs there, and then this one is like a vine and arrow frame stencils. That would be really cute. That would be really pretty on a pillow. That's cute too. So you get those. Did you get? I got four stencils, and then I got. And I think this is the last thing I got in the kit. So and then I got these dies. So these are multimedia dies, and this is from her Hawaiian collection. Now, if you go on Crafters Companion, even HSN, these are like thirty bucks for one. So I don't know how good they are, but I've never used a multimedia die to cut anything. So I'm kind of excited to see what it would look like. But in the picture right here, you can see on this pillow. Um, they have the design here and this one's called tea leaf and then this one is pineapple so kind of psyched to, to try these don't know what I'm gonna make as of yet but um, we'll try these let you guys know or maybe I can do a tutorial or a demonstration on them so we can kind of just see together what they look like when you use them it'll be cute though all right you guys I just wanted to share my latest haul with you have you guys used any of these things? If you have, um, let me know what you thought. Um, have you had any problems with your orders lately? Um, things like that. I still haven't gotten my UK warehouse clearance order as of yet. So I know they sent out an email today saying that some of the things, uh, the items are running behind and they haven't actually shipped them out yet or they're trying to ship them out. And I still am waiting on another um, order from the US clearance warehouse. So I had only got my first one. But thanks for watching, you guys. Like this video. Let me leave the comments. Let me know what you think. Have you ordered any of this stuff yourself? Have you used any of these products that I showed today? Do you like them? What you think of them? Or if you have any pictures, that would be great. I would love to see um, some of the stuff that you have done. And this isn't part of the collection, but since I have it right next to me, I'll show you two recent cards that I had just made um, probably like a week ago. So just a quickie, this is from the, this was on, previewed on HSN. Um, I did not buy it off HSN. This is like the, the Sheena Douglas um, Build-A-Scene collection. 
but I just wanted to see how it would stamp out in color. And I really think it's cute. I use my Spectrum Noir markers on that. And this is another one I made. And I think this one comes in like one of the kits. So I just stamped that out and colored that. It's really pretty. So I'll probably put that on a card and then um, send it out. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.